Okay, it is nine in the morning here and we have no power. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I woke up to no power, no power. I don't know how long it's been out either. I was like, okay, we can't open the fridges. We can't open the freezer. How am I going to have these kids not to touch those things? It's so automatic. So I found this strap and strapped it and said, do not open. They said that the power could be out for two hours. That's what they're estimating. I'm going to go with the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry, when it comes to freezers, I'm going to go to the worst and say it's probably not coming back on for a while. So as long as we can keep, like especially our deep freezer, we just restocked it with beef because our cow comes, we get, we go in with family on a cow um, every year and our cow just came. So it'll be fine for a while. But Derek is out of town. My in-laws are out of town. They went to Texas this week. And so by the time you see this, they're way home. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. They're gone. I have Jonah here and Shaylee here with me and the dogs. I have a generator. It's solar. It's charged. I don't know how to hook it up. If I need to hook up the generator, Derek's going to have to walk me through it. I'm sure it's probably not that hard, but I've never done it. I'm hungry. I have an electric stove but my mother-in-law upstairs has a gas stove. So luckily I have all these eggs here um, from our chickens. The bowls are marked starting there. Those are the oldest, and then I just have post-its in them. They haven't been washed yet, so they're fine sitting out for a while. So I have eggs, so I could wash them up and cook them on the gas stove if I need to. See, these are the things that I teach on the channel with um, having your food storage. But okay, great, you have it. Now the power's out. What do we do now? What do we do? So the first thing is do not open your freezers. Do not open your fridge. That stuff's going to stay cold. Luckily we have eggs. I have oatmeal. There's lots in our food storage. Um, and we have the gas stove, so that's good. So we could still make things that are on our shelf. I have canned chicken, tuna, meat. Like we have uh, canned roast beef, pork. We have tortillas, we have bread. Um, I have plenty that I could do with my mother-in-law's gas stove. Thank goodness we have that. So I thought I would take you along this morning until the power goes on and do some homemaking literally in the dark. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. I know you've had a really bad day But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay Butter's in the fridge. I can't find any spray oil. I don't feel like running back downstairs to my place, so I'm rubbing olive oil on the pan to grease it up for scrambled eggs for me, Jonah, and Shaylee. Thank goodness for, ooh, that egg was a double yoker. Did you see that? Thanks, chickens. It's nice having fresh eggs on hand. I just saw on the internet that Maine is having egg shortages for a little bit. And today's date is October 14th, I think, or 15th. I think it's the 15th. So uh, let me know if that was true, you guys, around this time if you're in Maine. But I saw that some stores were like, Temporarily, temporarily out, and they didn't know when they were getting it back in. The easiest way to get a shell out is by using a chicken shell. It is the weirdest thing, but it works. Okay, salt and pepper. Yeah, 
Yeah, I scramble them in the pan like this sometimes because I just don't feel like dirtying another bowl. <laughs> I had like six eggs, I think. And this is how much it made. I have more downstairs, but I will make this stretch with um, some fruit and other things that we have in the pantry. And I do have protein shakes on the shelf in my food storage room. I can always have a protein shake and just let uh, Jonah and Shaylee have these eggs. Wow, the boys have done some modifying to the chicken house. Hey ladies! Wow, what is this new feeder you got? Oh, that's interesting. We gotta make sure they have water, okay Shaylee? They have water. I see water. Look at them. Mom, the horse is in it. Okay. I wanna see if they have eggs. Oh wow, let's see if they have eggs. We, they, The boys redid some things. Yeah, there was so they wouldn't so they wouldn't um, poo in their nesting area that was becoming a problem so we had this oh look at nice and clean all right grab those eggs Shady. oh oh we got a new one. one look oh that's a cool well this is nice so this is pushed back out so they can't poop in it you got all the eggs so right yeah. now we have four they still might be laying if there are any in there let's check in there and we'll come back out. Okay, we'll come back out in a little yeah. bit and check. Sometimes they lay them in here too. How yeah. funny. Okay, we'll check again. So having that is gonna help a lot. And then later today, we'll let them out. We'll have the dogs go potty later um, this afternoon. And then the chickens come out and they spend hours in the yard while the dogs stay inside and the chickens just roam, so we'll, we'll, we will do that later today. Oh, here comes Miss Paige. We're saying hi to your friends. Huh. Hey, Cece! Yay! Sometimes she doesn't walk across the lawn, but today she did, yay, yay. yay, yay, yay. Come say hi to the chickens, Cece. Yeah, what's that smell? Chicken! Just put them there. I'm gonna put it on the ground. Yep. There you go. And will you grab that plastic cup out of there? I don't know why that's there. Oh, this is for their food. It's weird. Terrifying over Yummy, food. yummy. Come on, Cece. Okay, so I will put a post-it note in this bowl too of today's date. And we've got more eggs, so we'll check again later today. Sometimes we've got some late layers. Oh my gosh, you guys. The power's back on. Do we trust it? Cam, I think it's because I flushed the toilet. You flushed the, Jonah flushed the toilet, the lights are on. So hopefully it doesn't go back off because I know they hit something. So yay, we have the power on. Well, hooray and bummer, the electricity came back on. It came on sooner than when they thought they said it would. I'm just getting my shoes on to go out. Um, I picked up Jonah from lacrosse and he's like, can we go get lunch? And I'm like, sure. So he wanted Panda. 
and the three of us went and got panda and then when I came home, my order wasn't in the bag. So I called them. I'm like, when are you going to get my order? They're like, oh, it's here. Come get it. I'm like, well, if I'm going to go there near Walmart, I do need to pick up a couple of groceries. It's a nice fall day. We have snow on the mountains. There's a little that. It's definitely sweater weather for sure. Um, and then I'm going to come home and get ready and put makeup on and get ready to do a youtube live with denise jordan and so if you guys caught that let me know in the comments below so and then i can just have a nice fun like relaxing evening with denise and you guys on the live and i'm so excited jonah got home from practice he was cold for dinner do you want corn chowder and he like lit up jonah loves corn chowder he's like yes he goes <laughs> he says is that even a question Mike, fantastic. So we're going to make some corn chowder. Full time at my local church as the administration lead. And um... so I just found a podcast that my friend Megan from Organized Little Lady posted on Instagram. And it's called The Art of Home by Allison L. Weeks. And then I followed her on Instagram and she's following me. That is so cool. So, I'm going to listen to my very first episode ever of this podcast. It's about launch pads, like launching and landing pads in your home. A, a cool metaphor. So, I don't know. I'm going to listen to it while I'm out and about and just get some homemaking inspiration. Sometimes you just need to turn off, like, the news and other things that are just, like, too deep at the moment and get some good inspiration from other ladies who have lived through what we're living through as homemakers. Everybody's a homemaker. I got asked that question the other day on a podcast. I was like, everybody's a homemaker. Every man, every woman is a homemaker. It's not a housewife and it's not a mom, but everyone has a home and everyone works in the home. So homemaking is for everybody. <laughs> And when I was in there, I was taking pictures of prices of different groceries, different foods, to see how much they're already climbing. I try to do this periodically. Prices are rising, for sure. So there was some things I already grabbed now, which I'll share with you later, um, that I know are going to be higher come the holidays when I need them. So, and I met, did you say your name was Kirsten, Kirsten, Kristen, Kirsten? Oh, and her daughter in Walmart. Hello, thank you for coming and saying hello to me. And I was walking around with these on because, like I said, I don't have my glasses, so I have to take them on and off because of like, I could see near, but I can't see far. So that was fun meeting them. I'm glad she said hello. So now I gotta get home because in an hour and a half, I have our live with Denise Jordan and I gotta go not look like this. Hi, yes, I'm vlogging. That's what I do. She's in her apron. Your wife might like me. There's a whole family. That was embarrassing. Gotta go. Okay. Here is my Walmart grocery haul. I need to hurry and put this away so I can get ready. But I did buy my favorite ham from Walmart. It's the purple ham. It's the brown sugar double glazed ham. This is good until November 27th. So this is going in the fridge or the freezer until Thanksgiving so we have that two of the hot Italian Johnsonville sausages man the price of this has gone up two I use this in my gravy my Italian gravy well I thought I grabbed four of the Jimmy Dean hot sausages but one regular snuck in there <laughs> we like to put this in our um, spaghetti squash bakes one of our favorite meals and that is on the menu I put hot sausage in our minestrone soup the other night instead of ground beef and we loved it. A family size garlic flavored fully cooked rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna work with this. I met a viewer at the store and she was, we were like going down the aisles together, it was funny. And we kept bumping into each other and she's like, this is our family's favorite. 
And so I was like, okay, I'll try it. So it's sweet golden mustard barbecue sauce. She goes, I just put chicken in the slow cooker and pour that on and we love it. I'm like, all right, I will try that. So I got that, more half and half for clam chowder, milk, eggnog, I had to do it. It's out, guys. This is our favorite, this is Derek's favorite, Southern, Southern Comfort Vanilla Spice. All right, and then some uh, storage gallon bags, not the freezer, but the storage. And then I grabbed two packages of the White American Cheese. Um, kids love their grilled cheese sandwiches, so I grabbed that. Some Italian dry salami, Jonah loves this, and I love snacking on this for lunch. And I think that's all from this section. Two loaves of bread and some plain bagels. And then three boxes of cereal, one for breakfast, which is the life, and two for making some yummy Christmas treats that you will start to see. I don't know when this video is going out. So you may have seen it on Reels or you will see it on Instagram Reels but I'm sharing some yummy things with that. Maybe you'll see it on the vlogs, who knows? <laughs> and then I love snacking on the roasted garlic hummus with some peppers and crackers and celery. So I got that. Some sour cream and then cookies and cream ice cream. I gotta put this in the freezer. And since it's fall break, I grabbed the kids some sausage and pepperoni pizza snack rolls. We're gonna try the great value kind and see if they're any good. Fully cooked original pork sausage patties. I love the ones from the Kirkland. And so we're going to give cost, uh, Walmart a try. And the Kirkland br brand is Costco. All right, I grabbed some fresh cranberries. I have a few recipes I'm going to share with you, but I also want to put some potpourri in the little crock pot that I have. So I have rosemary. And then for that, you're going to need oranges. So I grabbed oranges, big bag of those eggplant i have been craving eggplant so i have two here so that's going on the menu plan tomatoes cucumbers green onion and a package of tri-colored peppers for chicken fajitas yum and then some pasta so i got manicotti and one jumbo shell because i had another box of jumbo shells so usually when we make stuffed shells of any kind we do two boxes and then i got the manicotti because these were off our shelves for a while i couldn't find them so i grabbed them now um, to have during the holidays so yummy all right and this is my walmart grocery haul i got this new lipstick today by l'oreal it, it's like the same family as my favorite lipstick this is Silverstone 760 can you see that this is so pretty and it's in a shiny gold case Ooh, shiny all right so I'm making dinner now at 751 I wanted to make this before I went on the live with Denise Jordan her channel is down below she sells aprons from apron diva that's her site and this is her apron look how cute this is so cute the link for this is down below hi cc baby i almost stepped on you all right so what i'm doing right now is peeling some potatoes and i have a hair in my i'm gonna put my hair up so i'm starting on some corn chowder and i usually triple this recipe um, i do have a video on this it's linked below i usually triple this recipe and i say right here triple it but we're gonna double it since it's only the three of us and um, we're craving it, it's eight o'clock. It's fall break, it's all good. So I'm gonna peel some potatoes and get them going separately. I noticed that the soup will be made faster when the potatoes are cooking separately from the rest and not trying to cook with the creams, like the milk in the pot with the corn and everything. It just tastes, takes longer. So I cook the um, potatoes separate. So I'm gonna get going and make some yummy corn chowder. Okay, I have my onions in the pot with some butter, and I'm going to um, I have some already pre-cooked bacon in the fridge, sort of set of frying up bacon tonight. I'm already cooking this late. I crisped up some of it, and I'm going to add this to the pot. I'm just breaking it up. I have a pot of potatoes already going. I'm telling you guys, it's just faster to cook your potatoes separate, or we'd be waiting a long time. I've had some angry, hungry kids when they were younger making this recipe going, oh shoot. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna break this up, get those going, and then once this softens, I'm gonna add our cans of cream of mushroom soup and creamed corn. Okay, I'm headed in here to get the creamed corn, and so we're doubling it. 
So I need two cans of that. So what I love about aprons is I put all my canned goods in my apron and I hold them up like this and then go to where I need to go. And I need two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Pull from the ones that need to get used first. These ones back here need to be used first. So I've got four cans here in my apron. <laughs> two cans cream corn and two cans cream of mushroom. Now this, this recipe is one of our go-to recipes and this is what I make sure I always have on my shelf to be able to make. Okay, those potatoes are almost there. I'm actually gonna turn this off and let them sit in the hot water so they don't cook anymore. Um, the onion and bacon is exactly where I want it. Look at that that's exactly where I want it so I am gonna add in my cans and then milk and salt and pepper and the potatoes and get this all going and we'll have corn chowder so these potatoes are exactly where they need to be they cooked fast so I'm getting them out of the hot water and letting them sit out and when we boil this and get it going um, right when it's done we'll throw the potatoes in and then eat because I do not want these to turn to like mush. So I'm gonna need six cups of milk. I'm so glad I got more milk. Salt and pepper that up. All right, stir that up. Incorporate that soup and corn. Oh, this is gonna be so good. All right, friends, here you have it, corn chowder. This is one of our family's favorites. It is a go-to meal that we keep on hand on our shelves. So when we shop our shelves, we always have corn chowder. So yum. Yeah. All right, that is dinner. I'm going to feed Shaylee and then get her off to bed.